I think it's safe to say that AI is officially taking over the world. With Google Bard recently going live and Microsoft announcing that ChatGPT4 will soon be available on Bing and Microsoft. These two tech giants are competing to become the market leader in AI chatbots. Both businesses want to use artificial intelligence to enhance their Bing and Google search offerings. These are both important income generators for both of these businesses. One could argue that AI taking over the world is being boosted by investors looking to gain exposure to stocks with an AI concentration. This focus of money to develop AI is causing an AI war. According to Bank of America analysts, AI-based solutions are assisting Google in generating more money through subscriptions, data charges, and advertising. The company's AI day is set for Wednesday, the day after Microsoft holds a news conference where they could potentially talk about the ChatGPT integration into Bing. The tech industry is clearly in the midst of an AI arms race. This is evident by the rapid emergence of several new fiercely competing AI products, as well as the quick integration of search. According to specialists in the field, Google has very strong language models. It may even have access to more data than ChatGPT. It has a robust computational infrastructure on which to build off of and has a significant distribution edge over its competitors. This is thanks to iOS and Android. While there is an AI war taking place, I'm pretty sure that Google is ahead of the curve. I mean, they practically invented the internet. On top of that, they've invested heavily into technological advancement, going as far as to invest into creating AI before it was cool. Now, every tech company is racing to develop something better because analysts anticipate that there's going to be strong government interest in the technology. Some Bank of America analysts have said that Meta is also likely to expand its AI capability. In addition, even China is working on their own AI. Chinese internet giant Badu saw a spike in its stock today after announcing the testing of an AI project similar to ChatGPT and BARD. They say that testing is almost complete. Ever since ChatGPT, a conversational AI system shocked the world with its impressive capabilities, everyone has been watching Google to see how the tech giant would react. This is because ChatGPT is a threat to Google. This is why Google's chatbot seeks to combine the breadth of world's knowledge with the power, intelligence, and creativity of their large language models. That's a paraphrase of what the CEO of Google recently said. In a blog post, the CEO of Google started by hyping up Google's work on AI with its 2017 field defining paper on transformer technology. Turns out it's a success with the fusion models, which he said are the backbone of many of the generative AI applications you're starting to see today. With the abundance of platforms for text to image, text to video, and even text to music, such generative applications have occupied a large position in the AI space for months. This is why tech observers have been waiting for the revelation of Google's solution to ChatGPT since OpenAI's product was introduced for public testing in November last year. Meanwhile, BARD and OpenAI's ChatGPT both provide services that allow users to receive human-like responses by entering inquiries, requests, or prompts. There are several important distinctions between the two, so what makes them different? BARD can draw on a wider variety of information from the internet and incorporate current events into its responses. On the other hand, ChatGPT is built on the generative pre-trained transformer, which is the family of language models from OpenAI and has data access through 2021. Although ChatGPT4 is expected to access more data from the internet, including Bing, this is still just an assumption because no one has yet seen the final product. BARD is currently only accessible to a small number of testers and is based on the LaMDA or language model for dialogue applications. On the other hand, in November of last year, OpenAI made a free research preview of ChatGPT accessible to the general public. Despite BARD's exceptional proficiency in text generation, the technology industry's leading experts and scientists universally rejected the firm engineer's assertion of sentience. While startups are working on their projects independently, several tech companies have increased their focus on generative AI technology in recent months. For instance, Badu, the dominant search engine in China, is creating its own AI called Ernie. 
it's still unclear who's going to prevail in the increasingly competitive AI chatbot market. It is important to note that AI chatbots from Google and Microsoft could revolutionize how consumers search for information or produce content at will, freeing up time for white collar workers. But as with any new technology, there will probably be growing pains and difficulties as AI chatbots become mainstream. As mentioned by OpenAI in a blog article, one possible problem is the potential for AI chatbots to provide inaccurate or illogical answers. Another more serious problem is relying on AI for verified facts and truth when their algorithms can be manipulated or their training data manipulated. Gaining and keeping the public's trust will depend on ensuring the precision and dependability of these technologies. As users enter sensitive information and personal information into these systems, privacy and security issues could also arise. Despite these challenges, the market for AI chatbots is fascinating as it grows and changes. The use of AI chatbots is expected to expand in the upcoming years, and there will be a sustained emphasis on enhancing their precision and dependability. No matter which company wins, consumers and companies stand to gain the most from the efficiency and convenience of these technologies, not Microsoft or Google. Finally, since data can be manipulated or controlled, it would be left up to everyone to decide how they would interpret or accept information from AI. Google also claims that the service will carry out other, more routine activities, such as offering party planning advice or lunch suggestions based on the leftovers in a refrigerator. Getting food suggestions from an AI might sound a little weird at first, but I'm honestly all for it. In addition, Google's CEO remains silent regarding Bard's ability to produce longer sentences like ChatGPT. He added, Bard may be a launchpad for curiosity as well as a creative outlet. He did note that Bard would undergo testing before becoming generally accessible later this year. Less than two weeks before the announcement of Bard's creation, Microsoft revealed it was investing billions of dollars into OpenAI. This comes after already having a $1 billion interest in the company. According to several commentators, AI technology will undergo the same types of transformation that smartphones, the internet, and personal computers have seen over the past 40 years. For the past six years, Google CEO has emphasized the significance of AI, with one of its most obvious outcomes emerging in 2021 as part of a system called Language Model for Dialogue Applications, or LAMDA. This is what supports BARD. To help its billions of users with their increasingly complex questions, Google also intends to start putting LAMDA and other AI developments into its powerful search engine. Google CEO did say that these technologies will be used in Google Search soon, but he didn't really give us a particular time frame. However, Google did recently reveal that they're investing in and partnering with Anthropic, an AI startup run by several former OpenAI leaders as yet another indication of its growing dedication to the industry. So who do you think's gonna win the AI arms race? Google? Microsoft? China? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching until the end of this video, make sure to click the like button and subscribe for more great content like this. Until next time.